There are nearly two million veterans in California, men and women that have risked their lives around the world for our safety and freedoms. Oh, work. Work. Unfortunately, many have found themselves trapped in a bureaucratic web after they return and are looking for help. Nearly 30,000 men and women separate from military service and return home to California each year, and they need our help. These veterans and their families have unique needs and challenges, including homelessness, unemployment, and high suicide rates, all of which affect veterans in greater numbers than the general population. The California State Assembly is committed to supporting those who have fought for our nation, and in keeping with that commitment, the Assembly is using some of the cuts made to its own operating budget to support several veterans programs. These programs include assisting vets with federal benefit collection, expanding current social service programs that help homeless vets get back on their feet, and increasing mental health counseling for National Guard members and their families. However, given the state's budget challenges and the impact of the recession, a greater effort must be made to focus our attention on better coordination of existing veterans programs and more efficient delivery of these services through all levels of government. That's why Assembly Speaker John Perez has introduced AB 557, which would create the California Interagency Council on Veterans Services and Programs. The purpose of the council will be to bring together key state agencies and departments, federal officials, legislative representatives, local governments, and stakeholder organizations. The goal? To ensure that programs that serve California's veterans are efficiently administered and properly integrated with other federal and local programs. If California can increase its participation rate to the national average, over $200 million in benefit payments could be returned to the state and local economy, which would have a measurable impact on veterans and their families. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.